So as I have mentioned in the DAG description of uh, the lecture part one that I will show you some new medical examples uh, where I explain what happens when you condition on confounder, mediator or collider, right? So in this particular lab, I'm going to show these in um, three different sections at first i will talk about um, confounder then i will talk about mediator and then i will talk about the colliders so let's talk about the confounders first so the basic premise is that we are dealing with a big data one million observations right and we are trying to see um, what happens when you have access to these many observations Note that this is not a simulation study, this is just a big data. And I'm just trying to find out when I define the relationship of interest, can a simple regression um, recover the uh, estimate uh, from this big sample. All right, to, to run this lab i need to use a package known as sim causal package unfortunately this package is not on um, cran anymore at least at this moment it is not there anymore um, so you can go to the author's github page to install the sim causal package all right so in each of these three different conditions we have two treatment effects one is non-null treatment effect where our true treatment effect is 1.3 and we are defining our DAGs and we have three different variables in this condition one is the L is a continuous variable which is our confounder variable A is a binary treatment variable and Y is a continuous outcome and we are defining all of these relationship within our DAG by uh, these formulas where you can see L is not dependent on any other variables but your A is variable uh, is related to L that means L is causing um, your A and your Y is an effect from L and A both right so let let us see um, what does the DAG look like so you, if you use the plot DAG function you can um, draw the DAG and you can see uh, L is a common cause of both A and Y so this is this L is obviously our confounder variable let us see uh, what happens when we generate this huge number of data and this is what the data looks like where you can see I have some ID variable I have the continuous uh, L or confounder variable I have a binary treatment variable and I have a continuous outcome variable so in the first case when I try to estimate the association between A and Y the, notice that this is a crude association right and we are getting a effect of 1.75 which is not really our true effect our true effect was 1.3 remember our treatment effect was 1.3 and this is represented in here see 1.3 uh, was our treatment effect when we were generating our outcome so in here when you do the crude uh, regression you see that 1.75 is the association but when as soon as you adjust for this L variable see we can recover the true treatment association which was 1.3 so this was the case where we had some association between A and Y right let us consider another scenario where uh, we do not have any treatment effect that means our treatment effect is zero in this scenario that means when we were generating our y variable there is no a variable here anymore so what does that look like that looks like we still have a common cause of a and y but there is no arrow between a and y all right so we generate the data uh, in the same fashion and we try to estimate um, the association in a crude fashion 
we see that the association um, is induced there is some association you can see uh, but when as soon as you adjust for l see there is no association anymore so this association that you were seeing uh, when you did not adjust for l is not causal association this is just some correlation that you are seeing just because there exists a common cause between a and y that means there was a confounder and you did not adjust for it that's why you are seeing some correlation that should not be there so to recover that you need to adjust for the l variable all right so that was the case for um, our confounding variable what is happening with the mediator variable we're again operating under the condition that our treatment uh, true treatment effect is 1.3 um, see, uh, when we are generating our y variable, our true treatment effect is 1.3 and our mediator variables effect was 0.5, right? So we, in the same fashion, we generate our DAG. You can see A is impacting your M, M is impacting your Y and there is a relationship between A and Y. So in this relationship, your M is a mediator variable. We generate the data and we try to get the crude association and the crude association is um, 1.69 so this is obviously a total effect when i adjust for both a and m i can see a direct effect and i can also see an indirect effect remember our true effect was 1.3 and our uh, indirect effect or the effect of m on y was 0 0.5 and all right let us see what happens when we do not have any uh, true uh, treatment effect so true treatment effect is zero and we we have just m that is impacting our y there is no association between a and y um, and our dag looks like this and we generate the data and we try to find the effect you can see when we try to find the total effect, the total effect is uh, showing that there is a relationship, whereas in reality there was no relationship. Um, and when you use the mediator variable, you can see the direct effect is zero and the indirect effect is 0 0.5, which is the true uh, direct and indirect effect. All right, so what is happening with the collider variable? So when we have a collider variable, um, let us consider the scenario in a non-null effect where your true effect is 1.3 and you can see 1.3 is your treatment effect when you are generating, um, not this one, sorry. 1.3 is your true treatment effect when you are generating your Y and your DAG looks like this, that A is impacting your Y and Y is impacting your L, but L is also impacted by A. So this is a common effect, not a common cause, but a common effect. In this case, again, you generate 1 million data and you try to um, get the crude estimate, crude association between um, A and Y. You can see you can recover the crude association one, very close to 1.3 but when you are trying to um, adjust for l there you can see the true association cannot be recovered so when you are uh, dealing with the collider you should not adjust for l and should go with a um, scenario like this where you are not adjusting for your L variable uh, where your L is a collider. So that was the scenario where you had a non-null effect. Let us consider a scenario where you have a null effect and you can see um, your Y is not impacted by any A variable here, right? And let us take a look at the DAG and the DAG looks like L is a common effect but there is no relationship between them and when you generate 1 million data and try to find the um, crude association you can see it is very close to zero but when as soon as you are adjusting for the collider variable you can see you are moving away from the null value so obviously 
even after 1 million data you cannot get exactly the true value but we are close enough right all right 